Okay, great, welcome back. So now let's move on to the next step in our Shopify setup walkthrough. So again, upper left, let's click home and go down to our next step. So since we didn't add a domain, let's move on to the next step, which is of course, setting up payments. So this is important because obviously in a web store, it's very important to have the setup or else how are you going to get paid, right? When someone or a customer purchases an item, right? So setting up payments with Shopify payments. And so in order for us to do this, we must put some basic information such as bank information and so forth. So let's take a look at this step. Set up Shopify payments. Okay, so as we can see here, we have a variety of payment methods and payment providers that are accepted on Shopify for us to allow customers to pay with and also to receive payments, right? So we need to complete the Shopify payment setup in order to be set up. But on top of Shopify payments, we also have the ability to accept payments through PayPal, which is a very, you know, um, popular option for customers to check out with. And of course, if you do decide to use PayPal, then in order for you to actually be able to use PayPal, you would have to complete the account setup and you would actually have to have an, a PayPal account already. And if you don't, then again, you can complete the account setup and set up a brand new PayPal business account, not a personal account. Um, and so it is a great way definitely to expand, you know, and cover all bases. On top of this, of course, we can also accept Amazon Pay on our Shopify web store. So customers can pay with that. And if there's any other alternative methods or manual payment methods that you, you know, can allow on your web store on Shopify, you definitely can through here. And these can include something as much as like, you know, cash or bank deposits or money orders, right? And on top of that, we can have a payment cap capture which will always be set to automatic and you want to leave this as automatic because what this means is that when the customer pays they are charged automatically so this is good for receiving payments faster and seeing your funds as soon as possible so you definitely want to leave this as automatic but anyways let's scroll up so we can go back to shopify payments which is the main method of of course accepting a payment on Shopify. So let's just take a look at this complete account setup. By the way, when you do this on your own, you'll be, you know, um, guided. So no worries here. But basically, all you have to do here is fill out your business's information, right? Are you individual or are you a corporation or an LLC, right? This is completely up to you. Um, and then you can fill out here your business details and of course your personal details as well. Um, it is very important that you do this correctly so make sure that when you do this yourself you fill this out accurately and take your time because you don't want you know something that's potentially you know incorrect to possibly you know even delay your payments because your business wasn't verified or whatever have you right so again remember you will be asked for banking information and for you know identification things such as social security numbers not to worry about that. Shopify is very safe. They just ask this to verify your identity and make sure you say you are who you say you are. And obviously, so you can accept payments. And of course, you can always manage this and manage your settings by clicking manage and Shopify payments. Um, and on top of that, Shopify payments is great to have set up because people can pay, you know, with a variety of different, you know, cards. And on top of that, different methods such as Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Facebook Pay. And on top of that, um, there is a 0% transaction fee, though of course there is an associated credit card fee. And when you obviously, you know, start making sales, you can view your payouts. And what will happen is that here is that you'll see, you know, when your payouts are scheduled to hit, you know, your bank account and be deposited into your bank. So just be aware that this is how, you know, payments work.
For the sake of this course, we're not going to set this up because, of course, this is something that, you know, is for um, very, very beginners. We're just exploring the platform here and trying to understand what Shopify is capable of. So we're not going to go through the, you know, process of filling out every single bit of our business information because, again, when you do this, you'll be guided anyway. So this is not something that I necessarily need to teach you how to do. Just know that it is here and that it is something that you must do before you know you start selling right so this is why we're going through this setup together because these are steps that you yourself need to complete before your business is officially launched and ready to go because if you start making sales and you don't have this set up you won't get paid right so just be aware this is how payments work in shopify